Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Luxury Home Show. Today you're joining us in a small village by Rugby in Warwickshire. And the house we're going to be taking you inside today used to be a bungalow. It's now got seven bedrooms, five ensuite bathrooms, and just over 3,100 square feet of interior space. It completed its renovations and expansions five years ago and now presents a truly stunning modern family home. It's listed with Fine and Country Rugby for one million pounds. Now the exterior is made up of that red brick, white render and the grey composite cladding. It looks stunning. We've also got this sunken parking area so that the views of the house are unobstructed. We've got the grey frames around the windows and the top of the house and we've also got that slate roof. We've even got a lake opposite. Let's go check it out. How cool is that to have that right out the front of your property? But let's head inside. Okay, we're inside the property now. I'm gonna pop a quick floor plan up for you guys so you can get your bearings as we make our way through the house. But here we have kind of a boot room section as soon as you come in the property. And we've got that rough carpet as well for your shoes. I know it's a very rural place here, so you're gonna be going on lots of walks. But then we come through a second door into our open plan space. We've got this amazing wooden great flooring throughout here. Take a look how bright it is. We've got two skylights here up above in that lantern shape, making this room here just flood with light. Cause we've also got bifolding doors out to your back garden and windows all across that aspect there too. I'll start here. We've got like a study area. You can just pull down so it's great and you can open them up. I can imagine it'd be great in the summer. Dining table in the middle with the spotlights and skylight above. We've got a bar section here. Just imagine opening all this out in the summer and it'd just be such a great entertaining space. And we've also got Tom, our piano this side. So someone's gonna be playing a nice song. Everyone's gonna be having drinks, having a great time. We've got such a good garden as well. We were on a plot of a quarter of an acre. So we've got a nice bit of green space at the yeah, back there. Open up those bifold doors, it'll be a great party setting. Exactly. But this is what I find really interesting about this open plan layout. This space here in the lounge is a bit more enclosed. Got these beams that run across. Yeah. Switch to carpet in here as well, which is really cozy. Now we've got a fireplace here. I like the different textures and materials used. So you've got the exposed brick, which matches the wall in that dining area. And the front of the house. And the front of the house. And then we've got the wooden beam and then the slate at the bottom. Over here, we have the couch setup, And then we've got the niches in the wall as well with that glowing light. We even have bifolding doors that lead out to the front because we've got some more great green space and that view over to the lake here. And then we come through past the stairs and we're gonna head into the kitchen. I love it, it's still open plan when you think of it. There's no doors, there hasn't been any doors yet, but it feels so separate. Great kitchen in here. I love the smooth wooden worktops. And then we've kind of got a two-tone going on with the gray glossy cabinets up top. Yeah, very contemporary with the design. Color yeah. matches the front and the Definitely. exteriors. And then here we have a central island with that same wood. And then we have our sink here, which is actually dark tone, which is quite nice to see. It matches the vertical radiator on the wall and some of the dark features throughout. And yeah. we've got plenty of storage here. We've even got a bin that has a button. It's automatic as well. To open and close it. Yeah, you don't actually have to touch it. <gasps> yeah, I walked past it earlier and it opened. <laughs> That's cool. Ooh. So then coming back over here, we have the gas hob too. Now, like Tom was saying, the bin just opened as I walked past. <laughs> Told you. Like Tom was saying, this area is really bright. You can see we've got three separate windows and I like how the bottom is frosted. And I just feel like it adds a teeny bit of like privacy while keeping it still really bright. We're quite elevated here as well. Yes. So if anyone wants to drive past and look, look in, that, that frosted glass at the bottom would pretty much cover any of their view inside. Exactly. Quite smart, yeah. Then we have more of an informal dining area set up here and worth noting we've got the breakfast stools here. Fridge kind of separate from the kitchen, which is nice. Doesn't ruin the aesthetic of the kitchen. Yeah. We have bifolding wooden doors into what is called the playroom. And it's just a really cozy, great space full of like all the kids' artwork. You've got TV, access out to the side of your garden that leads around to the back and a big couch. And we've got that same gray wooden flooring running all the way throughout. Opera is a great snug in there as well, separate oh, yeah. from the main living room. So yeah. people could be watching different things if they needed yeah. to. Definitely. But follow me, Tom. When we come back out here, we've actually got this guest WC, which I love. We've got blue on the walls. We've got the tiles, like honeycomb, honeycomb tiles. Honeycomb yeah. looks great. And then as well as this, we've got the pocket doors, so it saves space. And then <clears throat> leading on from that, we actually have a separate boot room. Oh, nice. And it's got some furry friends in here. Oh, hello. 
Oh, he's got two fairy friends. Hello. <laughs> okay, all right. Bye, kiddies. Thanks. <laughs> opposite here, we also have a utility space too, which is really handy to have just opposite, and it's quite big too. Anyway, we're gonna step up here into kind of a separate wing of the house, and it starts with this study space. So worth... these were the original bedrooms, weren't they, for the bungalow? Yes, so it's worth noting this is a bedroom. This property does have seven bedrooms, but two of them are being used as studies. But yeah, great space in here. Once again, you've got a nice aspect, bringing in loads of light and looking out to the back garden. And yeah, just really... Who's your mate? Oh my gosh! I actually have one of these. <laughs> I actually have one. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, so like Tom said, this was the original bungalow space. We've got... Wow, so much light coming. You can see the hot tub out there. This is what would have been one of the bedrooms in the bungalow, now being converted into a really nice arts and crafts room. Yeah, a very productive room, this. Yeah. Imagine this is where a lot of homework gets done, things like I that. I love it. It's such a great idea for a space like this. Yeah, like a family house. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. It's a really good family home. Yeah. Now, come on in. This is what would have been the principal suite. So, yeah, quite a spacious room would be a great guest bedroom or you could really cut this whole wing off if you put a door by the study and then you'd have like a self-contained living area. Yeah, yeah, so if you look down um, that corridor, pretty much out where that child gate is, if you had like a little door there, this could be a self-contained annex. Yeah. And you then you've got access out as well, so. Yeah. yeah, which is business opportunity, I suppose, Airbnb. But oh, yeah, yeah, true, like, yeah, didn't think of that. Yeah, like Tom said, we have access out here to the garden too. Yeah, you can hop straight in your hot tub. And come back in. And then we have our ensuite in here with the shower and the dark tiles that come across. Yeah, I like the dark halfway. tiles, sort of chess colours. Yes. You're chess. matching again. And I do quite well at that, don't I? <laughs> yeah, you I'm do. Very match person. <laughs> anyway, now Tom's going to take you upstairs and show you the bedrooms. So you're joining us upstairs now on this really spacious landing. It's really nicely lit as well because we've got natural light coming in through there and then we've got the spotlights up above and this fitting as well. Should we check out the master bedroom first? Yeah, let's go. Now this is so spacious in here again. Massives of room, loving the double bed, nice chunky headboard there mm -hmm. as well. And then we have a dressing setup at the front, you can watch TV from the bed as well. And we actually have an ensuite, but before we go through, we have this little dressing area through here and it actually opens up once more. So you've got an airing cupboard. Oh, that's handy. Tons of storage. Massives and massive of storage, and the room itself is huge as well. It is. I like the like double windows as well. Yeah, great views looking out over towards that lake. Right, check out the ensuite, Jazz. We've got a freestanding bath right as you enter. Then we've got the shower in here as well, toilet and basin. But yeah, really nice and bright. Very contemporary yes. with all the whites. So we head out. Go back down the corridor. So let's have, have a little look at this window quick. This is what I meant before, you know, we've got so much natural light keeping all of this really mm -hmm. bright. And you can see the little skylights as well. Oh yeah. The lanterns. Mm -hmm. right, let's go through. So this is like a guest bedroom in here. Another double bed, ample size, and a great view out over that lake once again. But this one actually benefits from a Jack and Jill bathroom. So it has an ensuite. But Jazz, if you head around that way, you can see in here we've got two access points. <laughs> Loving the uh, the bath in here, set with the shower. Yes. Looks great with the grey grout and the white, sort of same style as the front of the house with the white render and the grey cladding. Exactly. So yeah, we've got the base in here, toilet again, but this one can be used from these bedrooms. This is big sister's room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we've got, yeah, lovely bed there. And we've got Forky from Toy Story. Oh yeah, I actually love this idea. Hot air balloon. And I, this one has a floor to ceiling, pretty much. Yeah, double window. height window. Yeah, a double height window. So you've got loads of natural light coming in. You can just sit in bed, check out that view. I was about to say, for like a kid, it must be so cool to just sit and watch like the sheep. Yeah, right. And the lake. Yeah. Forget <laughs> kid, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Great view. Okay. And then we have the ensuite through here. We've got the toilet, basin, and the shower as well. We've got the roof hatch up here into the attic. And when they did actually extend from the bungalow and did another floor up above, it's actually two metre ceiling heights up there. So yeah. lots of potential for that to be extended into another bedroom. Okay, so yeah, we've got another kid's bedroom in here. Great size as well. And we have the bathroom through here with the ensuite and the shower as well. Got a giraffe theme in here. I'm liking it. That scared me. Oh no. Oh, there's actually one there as well, Jazz. Creepy crawlies. The property is in a great location. We're super secluded. Got a very private road here, so not much traffic coming past. Immersed in nature. If you fancy some walks, you've got dogs and stuff like that, it'll be perfect. We've got the lake out front as well, so you can enjoy that all the time. 
in Clifton. It's a nice quaint little village right next to Rugby. So we benefit from the town life as well as having a more secluded lifestyle, a bit more private, which is great. We've got transport links to London as well. So yeah, super convenient for commuters. Hope you guys have enjoyed the tour. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.